Hey guys, what's up? It's Apollo. Thanks for stopping by and welcome back to Total War Warhammer. This is a two versus two online battle and this one is going to be insane. As you can tell, there's a big funnel in the center of this map. So both armies are going to brutally charge in the middle and it's going to be a big mosh pit of orcs, men, dwarves, monsters, and machinery. It's going to be great. Now, of course, you can go on the flanks and try to maneuver around. So there's going to be some, you know, strategy. It's it's not going to be just this giant brawl in the middle, which, you know, even if it was, it would still be pretty great. So I would say about 85 to 95 percent of the fighting is going to take place in the middle. And also this battle is going to be really great because we have chaos present in the fight and they look so freak. Look at this guy. He is so intimidating. Look, look at the skull on his helmet. It even still has uh, some hair strands left to it. Even the skull looks angry. My goodness. And then look back here. Look who it is. Kolek, the Sun Eater. He looks so freaking massive. He is massive. Look at that butt. That is a butt. All right, so let's look at the army comps. Uh, this is a fight with some fellow YouTubers. I was actually playing this battle live on the stream takeover, so I want to thank it, thank everyone who was there watching. It means a lot to me. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be commanding the dwarves. Warrior of Sparta is going to be commanding uh, the Chaos, so the Chaos faction, and we're going to be taking on Overkill Total War, and he's commanding the Green Skins, and we have uh, Jackie Fish leading the Empire. So let's get started with those army comps. We'll begin in that same order with my good old dwarves. I've got four units of Thunderers in the front line. Hopefully they will uh, help me take out generals and creatures alike. And then he has, or he, I have uh, two units of organ guns. This is my first time using the organ guns, so I'm pretty excited to see them in action. I'm also bringing a grudge thrower. So there it is right there. And I've got uh, some cannons. So I'm bringing lots of artillery and I just put them in the front lines to try to get some uh, good volleys off. And then for uh, my hero, I have the Master Engineer, which he's actually a uh, missile troop, which is really cool. He's got very nice look, very nice beard, very uh, flowy beard. And then I have my general, which is a lord. We saw him, or we've seen him before. And then for my infantry, I've got two units of iron breakers oh my god they look even cooler in the in the snow they look great and then in the back here i have about four units of dwarf warriors and way over here i've got about three units of long beards and that's pretty much it for my infantry now i am i am bringing a gyro bomber which is on the flank i'm going to use this bomber as kind of like more of a defensive unit to try to protect the flanks of my army and also i'm bringing some slayers to try to take down some of those green skin monsters let's now look at chaos uh it's his army's so great man chaos Chaos, Chaos seems to be a very strong army in all different categories. Infantry, uh, Cav, uh, I don't know about their artillery, but they do have some really good monsters. Uh, but we've got some Chaos Warriors with the great weapons, so they've got this giant two-handed two axe here. Very lovely. And that armor, man. That armor is just too much. So he's bringing a couple units of them. I think about like four units of them. And then he has uh, Chaos Warriors with Halberds. There we go. So it's slightly different uh, weapon there. Maybe, I, I don't know, I'm not sure the stat difference, uh, but I'm sure it's pretty similar to the axe. And then way uh, on the flank, he has two units of Chaos Warriors, which have the uh, very uh, iconic shield and the one-handed axe. Which, personally, I would I would prefer to uh, bring the shield and the one-handed one axe. That's just more my style. And then back here, he's got some pretty crazy monsters. He's got the, uh, the Dragon Ogres. Oh my god, they are ginormous. They are so cool. Look at look at that. Look at that mace. Look at what in the Imagine getting hit by that. My goodness. That would be that would be the end of your life. And then look at these guys. Look at what S chaos spawn. Oh, disgusting. Look at that tongue. Oh my god. These guys are really gross, uh, but hopefully, I'm just glad I'm not fighting them today. I'm glad they're fighting with me. And then for a mage or wizard, he has a chaos sorcerer. So he looks really cool as well. Got the nice chaos armor. And then back here, he has some chaos marauders with a great weapon. So he's got the uh, two-handed uh, axes there. Is not it a little too cold for that, that uniform? I mean, I would be wearing some more clothes there, but hey, 
You know, those guys are crazy bastards. And like I, like I showed you earlier, he's got Kolek. Kolek, the Sun Eater. And then on the flank for his cav, let's go ahead and check out the cav here. He's got one unit of the Chaos Knights, which look really cool. Look at the horses there, just glowing with fire. Very nice. And then he has uh, two units of uh, Marauder Horsemen. So we'll get a good view of them as well. Look at that horse armor. That is sweet. I love, I like the style of chaos. I think my new favorite is chaos. I, I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. New favorite. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and look at the greens and uh, green skins. I think this is also the first time we've seen the green skins. Uh, so uh, overkill is bringing like seven black orcs, which is a very impressive amount of black orcs because they're very very expensive, but they look great as well with the red armor and those masks. Uh, and then he's bringing about three units of trolls. There they are. They're going to be trolling us today. That's a face only a mother could love. A mother troll. And then back here, he's got some orc Ari, Arr, Arr boys or something like that. Uh, I think they're like a middle tier archer unit, so they're pretty good. I think they're going to be pretty reliable, so he has about four of them. And then for his cav, he has about four units of orc boy biguns. And they're very stinky. Look at that. You can see the stink just, just coming off of them. So that's his cav force. And I think for his uh, general, he has Azog. Azog. But he's dismounted. Look at it. Look, look at those eyes. He is just, he's so ready. And then for the Empire, uh, Jackie Fish is bringing some great swords. He's got some swordsmen in the, uh, the, the line in front of the great swords. He's bringing two wizards. So he has a, or actually he's bringing one wizard. He's bringing a warrior priest and he's, you know, make sure you bring that book to battle. And then he's got a, uh, a light or bright wizard over here. And then for his general, he has Carl Franz on his mount. And then for his cav, he has uh, some demigriff knights. He's got some right guard. And Reich's guard and then he has uh, some hand gunners over here and he has lots of artillery So he's got a great cannon on the flank and then he has a hellstorm Yeah, hell or hellstorm rocket battery and then also he has another artillery piece. All right guys So those are the armies. Let's finally begin and this one's pretty crazy. Let's see who can win in the uh, the uh, artillery department Let's watch these organ guns because uh, I've been waiting. I want to see these guys in action. There we go There's the grudge throwers there, here comes some returning or enemy artillery fire, fire. Going after my artillery. My Thunderers in the front line just kind of waiting. Come on, fire. Fire those those guns. I really wanted to just sit back and fire, but unfortunately... Oh, there we go. Oh, that's awesome. Too bad they don't play, like, organ music. <laughs> that would be great. But here comes Chaos. We're going to now charge in the uh, the middle. I was kind of hoping that, you know, just just to sit back and try to, you know, tear him up a little bit with the artillery. But I think we both agreed to just push forward in the center. And the poor uh, Chaos Warriors are getting hit with the enemy artillery, which is not a great start. But the first unit to, to meet us in the middle are going to be the trolls. So let's see uh, them charge into here. Going right into the Chaos. Oh, and the artillery. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. Very nice, very nice. Great early start to this fight. So let's uh, let's actually do some slow-mo, see what's going on around the other parts of the battle. So uh, the Empire is pushing pretty hard with this calf because there's really no resistance over here. Uh, but I think Warrior Sparta is going to keep back his ogres to try to protect the flank. Also, he's got other creatures uh, waiting in the back lines. On the other side, we do have a bit of a calf fight. So let's uh, well, actually... Looks like there's already been a pretty solid cav fight, but the artillery is just ripping through this marauder cav. And here comes the, the orc cavalry. They're going to charge in. So the fight for the flanks has uh, begun as well. And we're going to head back over to the center because uh, things are getting pretty juicy over here. The, the black orcs are about to uh, charge in. There they go. Artillery still just going crazy in the center. Oh, and there goes Carl. He's going in early in the battle. We got the uh, cru uh, cru uh, Chaos Knights. I was about to call him Crusader. <laughs> Chaos Knights uh, fighting off Carl. Oh my god. This is this is a beautiful, beautiful battle. The Chaos, man. They're so cool. Look at some arrows are coming in. You got the uh, Orc arrows coming in. And here is that beautiful front line. I've got some of my dwarves in the front line as well. Oh, come on. Die, you Orc scum. 
Yeah, definitely not lore friendly, this battle. You know, dwarves fighting with chaos and empire fighting with the orcs or the greenskins. Uh, but we've got some pretty large units fighting each other. Those chaos warriors, man, they're some, they're some big troops. Alright, so let's let's head over to the other parts of the battle because things are going to get pretty interesting over here. We've got a lot of cav. We do, it looks like we got a spell going on over here. But oh, here comes the org, uh, the ogres. They're going to slow down these demigriffs. And we've got, yes, Kolak. I would not want to be hit by that electric warhammer. God, that looks very intimidating. I also have my bomber coming over, if you can see over there, uh, trying to drop some bombs. I'm going to head over to the other flank oh, and artillery. More shots coming in. I just want to watch Kolek, uh, Kolek for a little bit. Fighting with his ogre minions. Oh! Feel the pain. Feel the burn. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to fo- oh. I'm gonna focus down with my gyro bomber. I'm holding on to those bombs until more critical of a moment. Uh, Warrior's doing a good job in trying to protect the flanks. I'm just constantly sending forward my infantry and trying to break through these orcs, but it's definitely been a very challenging task. I've got now my, um, my iron breakers in range and they're throwing their explosive charges. Uh, we'll get a good view of that. Oh, and the orc spawns are in the middle of the, uh, the action as well. God, these battles, man, they're just so intense. There we go. Nice, nice volley from my Iron Breakers. Let's see, what do I got here? Some long beards. This is my Dwarf Warriors. Oh, the Chaos Spawn just whipping their, their arms or whatever it may be they have around. And we do have some spells going on here. Whoa! Someone's using some uh, buffs or, or maybe even debuffs there. Carl's going in for another charge. That was a brutal charge. All right, so let's head back over to the overview view. And we're actually going to do some slow motion here because there is a lot going on. A lot of my guns have... a. Uh, have j are just sitting back here firing and harassing the cav uh, so I guess overkill was busy microing microing other parts of the battle so his uh, his orc boy big guns they are getting hit hard orc boy boar big guns orc they're actually orc boar oh my god it's hard to say orc boar big <laughs> orc boar boy big guns there we go my goodness uh, so yeah, they're getting hit from the uh, the Thunderers there, so I'm really wiping them out. Also, it looks like we are winning on the flank, but some of uh, Warrior's troops are starting to lose uh, heart in this fight. And uh, we'll head back over this way, because look who's joining the main fight over here. Let's watch from his point of view what it's like to be a Sun Eater. Uh, I guess we can't really zoom in too close. Alright, let's, let's exit out of that view. Yeah, smash those green skins. Destroy them. And the Empire's making a really good push over here. We are breaking. This is a huge concern. That's why uh, uh, um, Kolek was uh, joining this side of the fight. Just so he could... Oh my god, you see all the great swords falling to their deaths. I'm sure most of them will get back up. God, the close-ups in this game is just so much. It's so great. Carl's trying to turn the tide of battle over on this side. It's not looking too great. Uh, my Iron Breakers are now in the fight. They've uh, used up their ammo. We've got a huge blob of forces trying to hold back the Black Orcs and some uh, Empire Halberdiers. You can see the front line over there. I've got a lot of guns and artillery trying to focus down the uh, Empire troops who are trying to push through our lines. He's taken out my uh, my organ guns. Uh, but we're still holding on over here. Let's see, my organ guns, are they still firing? Doesn't look like it since they're focusing a different direction. Oh, I don't know what they're firing at. Uh, but we are doing pretty well over here on the back flanks. I just need to turn my guns around. Uh, because we need to take out Carl. If we can take out Carl, we can turn this battle around because, you know, losing your general is huge. Also, I think... Oh, no! We got an epic duel between Carl and the Sun Eater. Uh, but he's going to try to get out of there. I sent in my general. 
So here's my lord. He's trying to keep back uh, some trolls. He's, he's got a pretty challenging task ahead of him. Oh, he killed the troll, though. He's like, yes. Oh, get kicked in the face, dude. Also, I've got, uh, what is it, some thunderers in the fight? <laughs> oh, the troll's sliding, or, or uh, my lord is sliding around there. And the black orcs are pushing through our ranks. Man, it just seems, it seems like we had nothing to slow down these black orcs. Like, they are really, really good. Now, we still have most of our forces alive over here. I'm trying to spread out my men a little bit. Oh, what is that? Oh, some fire going in. Uh, magic all over the place. Oh, look at the organ gun is destroyed. That it looks awesome. That's great. So we've got some chaos warriors returning to the fight. That's great. That is great. Come on, chaos. Hold the line. And he is breaking the swordsman. Things are turning around, but oh, I don't know. We've got this warrior priest going in. He's getting some action. My Thunderers are trying to focus down Carl. Look at Carl is breaking. There is a chance we might be able to save the day, but he does fly away. We do not kill him, which is very unfortunate, but at least he is breaking from the fight. And we continue to hold right here. Unfortunately, some of the Chaos Warriors are breaking, and Azog has joined the front line. He's going to try to turn the tides of battle. Uh, he's, he noticed that Carl's taking all the glory, so he can't let that happen. There we go. He's using some buffs to uh, to uh, help his men, support his men in this time of need. Oh. And the Empire strikes back. <laughs> They're back and they've taken out this position. I'm still firing my artillery. I've got a couple pieces of artillery still active that was not harassed. So I'm going to continue to fire and hopefully break them. Uh, that's really what we're down to. My general is still alive. Unfortunately, I think Kolek has died at this point of the fight. Oh, yes, we've got an epic duel for my general and the warrior priest. Who will win? Who will die? Oh, the headbutt of justice. I don't know. It's a pretty good fight, and our men are wavering, so it's not looking too good. The balance of power is not in our favor, and I really am just down to some uh, thunderers. Uh, we we still have some ogres over here. They're gonna do a desperate charge into these uh, these gunners, but no, they break. They just can't handle the uh, gunpowder of the empire, the technology of the empire. So that was a pretty quick battle, but nonetheless, it was very chaotic. It was really fast too, so I tried my best to try to you know capture everything. Uh, but in these Warhammer battles, it seems to be really, really hard to capture everything because, because there's so much going on. Uh, let's go ahead and end the replay and just see uh, the stats here. Uh, it just, you know, those Black Orcs, man, they're crazy. Like, they are crazy. They got really good kills there. His archers didn't really do that great, except for that one unit getting 40. Uh, his cav did okay. I mean, except for those two. His trolls did okay. Uh, if we look at my dwarven army, I didn't really do that great. Um, some of my thunderers did really good because they were fighting or they were shooting at some cav that was just standing there. Uh, my artillery did okay, and my bomber. I wish I got more kills with my bomber, uh, but overall, I think next time, if I if I could go back and replay this battle, I would get less artillery, uh, maybe just, you know, get the cannon and maybe a grudge thrower and that's it, and get more hammerers and more iron breakers uh, because they had really elite infantry. In The best way to fight elite infantry is with your own elite infantry. Also, I should have sent in my lord a little bit earlier. Same thing to my master engineer because they didn't really get a lot of kills there. Uh, let's see the chaos army. So I didn't really see the chaos sorcerer uh, there too much. I think we saw a couple fire spells from him. Uh, but Kolek, the sun eater, getting 89 kills, which is pretty solid. Uh, let's see, chaos marauders getting 34. Oh man, his chaos warriors here are not doing too well. But the warriors with the great weapon, they did a little bit better. Oh, his, oh my god, his horsemen got zero kills. I think they got harassed from that artillery pretty quickly on the flanks. Uh, let's see, his dragon ogres, uh, 49 kills. And his uh, chaos spawn, 52 kills. 
So it wasn't a great day for our infantry. Let's look at Jackie Fish's army here. Um, let's see, his 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 uh, great swords did really well, like usual. His guns didn't do that great. His Reichsguard and his Demigriff Knights. We did a really good job of silencing his cav, which was a big concern of mine since I didn't have any cav. Uh, but they didn't get any kills. His artillery did pretty good though. And uh, I honestly, it was a couple units of infantry. Carl did well, his artillery, and with the help of uh, Overkill's uh, black orcs, they turned the, uh, the turned the tide and they, they won that fight. So that's going to wrap up today's battle. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, you know, I forgot the name of the map, but I'll be sure to uh, put it in the description. So if you want to play it, you can play it in the future. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this battle, be sure to leave a like, uh, leave a comment. And of course, if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe. So thanks guys for watching. I will see you next time.